Hello everybody, this is Ruckus, and welcome back to Ruckus Plays Grim Fandango Part 2. So last time, we did a lot of poking around the office, and we got word that there was a mass poisoning that we needed to get to, but Domino, our rival, sent our driver home, so we have no way to get there. So we're trying to get a work order signed so that we can get Glottis to modify a vehicle, and we can get to the mass poisoning. Let's get started! If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Zing! Eva, I mean. Rest. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. He hasn't quite gotten it yet. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. Lotus. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> that is excellent. Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. They are pretty creepy. Can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. I can't carry the whole package out of here. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. Well, he doesn't look very old. Nice bathroom. Several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll wow. get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Well, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why I on a... Shut the up! 
That's what I thought, yo. <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. You go for it, Manny. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Ooh. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Just one more question about my job. Mm-hmm. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Very squeaky new shoes. Ooh, Domino's in his office. Should we call him out on his baloney sticks? Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a nun, too. Bruno's a pretty strange name for a nun, wouldn't you say? Well, you know how cruel sisters can be about nicknames. I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. <laughs> I wanna ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. <laughs> Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Snap. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Well, that's all I wanted to ask. For now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> okay, that's the end of that lecture. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should... What? Shut up.
I just like to wander around and see what there is in store. Because you never know. I didn't actually do any uh, digging around in that other room, so we're gonna go look. I'll never get out of this place. Oh, shit. You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. That was random. Think you're better than me? You're not better than me. Uh, actually. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. <laughs> I like the fart noise it makes. Boop. Put some poop in that one too. I guess I don't. Want I don't it. need the hernia, Bruno. You in one of these? Must have picked them up already. For those who enjoy no hassle travel. No hassle, cause you're like frozen, suspended. Where did that guy come from? We should go check out his office. Since the door is open now. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. We're just gonna take that. Oh, he must have gone to the bathroom. This couldn't possibly cause it. <laughs> Look out below. Couldn't possibly cause any problems. I sure don't want to stick my scythe down there. Oh, that's my bread. I think this is the other baloney. That doesn't sound good. Ooh, better get out of here. Servers down again. What else is new? Let's see. 
we might uh, not be up to no good. Symbolically compelling. Hmm. Not picking that up. The wheel won't budge. Giant sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Ooh. Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. just for this occasion. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, 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 aha, positive attributes, volunteer time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Is. Are you loco? What got into you? Oh, my oh, Atlanta. A company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> wow, look at us go. We're gonna fucking toast Domino. Fuck you, guy. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Ooh, sure. Where is it? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Oh. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. 
Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been our volunteer work. Uh-huh. Sure. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Litter? Oh, Manny. Is that the best you can do? I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. Let's go figure some stuff out. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Bones in my office now. Not you vandalized good. company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road, all in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, Yeet. facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Well, then... Bloop. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft-serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto-body filler. Doesn't open. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. The deal D runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Well, exactly. That's why I want to do it. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club, Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? Ah! To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? 
The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. I'm glad I could be a part. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel. Like babies. Oh What's no, not the babies! Come in, Manuel. Or should I call you? Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Um, I agree. We probably would be. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. That bird! If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Okay, okay, fine. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the Eighth Underworld. And for that, you need money. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Uh, Viva la revolución! Been... Okay, okay. Eggs, 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 eggs. Well, let's see here. I'm guessing we'll have to climb back up onto the old roof. The old roof. To get some eggs. Okay. Hmm. Tom's office is empty. Not picking that up. Ooh, I can sneak in. Looks like a glowing hunk of coral. 
That could be useful. Yep. Punch this shit. Ooh, what's this? Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. Well, I'm gonna take it. One more for the road. Oh fuck, he's gonna come out. That's it for this episode of Ruckus Plays Grim Fandango. Tune in next Friday to see if Manny's successful in retrieving two birds and find out what our next mission is going to be as employees of the LSA. Don't forget to subscribe for more Grim Fandango gameplay and other videos.